who is Lam Fao? And they're like, Lam Fao? Who, who that? And they're like, can you, can you spell it? Oh. Yes, yeah, L-A-F-K-F. And he's like, who is this Korean operative that you're speaking of? And it's like, no, it just, yeah. it just means laughing my fucking ass off. So yeah, who's so funny? Who's laughing? <laughs> you know, I I think I've seen that. It's so funny. I it's, love it. It's pretty good. And he says like uh, pictures of a cucumber. No, no, that 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 means something else. Your cucumber is sending pictures of your privates. But that's that's clearly a cucumber. <laughs> uh, we should link the width. I I can link the width. Hello, button. Give me a <clears throat> give me a cool second. I'll link the width for me. All right. I think it was like co college humor. No, no, I, no, I have it. Don't worry. All right. I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure it wasn't college humor. Was it? Yeah, it was. Yeah, I think so. The one I, the one I watched was like someone being interrogated because they found a bunch of, you know, like shorthand words on their cell phone and they thought they were a Korean agent. They're like, who is LMFAO? Lam Fao. Yeah, Lam Fao. Exactly. Okay. I got it right now. College humor is fake and gay. I mean, they used to be funny. Just like Bethesda used to be a good camp game company, and Blizzard used to be a good game company. And like, Break.com used to be a good website. Same thing with Newgrounds. But things, things move on. I mean, Newgrounds kind of died out when YouTube took over. With over 8 billion text Ugh. messages being sent every day, filming. Yeah. Anybody who's oh, curious yeah. about the video? Yeah. This, is, this is what I saw. With yeah. A, this was intercepted at 2.30. One quarter aubergine envelope. So they have a... <coughs> Around these times, yeah, it's. I love how I love how the guy who was so the, men are getting like in playing it so straight. That's that's the, the best part. Now you have and this crazy funny situations, and you have this guy who is being uh, straight faced the entire but that's clearly thing. That's it, it's it's what I love about it. Are you watching it right now? He's trying to, but you're talking over it, so I'm gonna stop. Dude, we don't have time for that. All right, where are we going? Sling. Okay, take a look at the the thing. The thingy. Where are we now? We're Take in... Take a look at the thing that shows you where we are. What are you... What... What are you... The thing that you shows where you the, are? that picture that shows a bird view of the city we were just Oh. In? This thing. Oh, the planar sphere is... Distorted demonic valley. Oh. Oh, I'm I'm not an expert on this, but I'm just a shot in the dark. I, I'm guessing we can find a demon there. Just a one, yes. Probably not. Probably not. No. Let me give you some of this. Oh, that's good. Do I have spells? I have spells. <clears throat> yeah, memes. Oh yes. Internet historian just did a new video about the uh, Doomsday Prediction 2011. Just as I thought. Really? I gotta watch. Can you watch that guy, Internet historian? Oh yeah, I've seen every single video. <laughs> so are you stealth mode? Because you want to be stealth mode in this place. I am stealth mode. Got him. Oh shit. Got him. Just killed the snake. There we go. So we are looking for a big demon. Right. Okay, enjoy yourself, friend. 
saving real quick. Evil Square? I don't know what that is. Me neither. You are no he likes politics a lot, so I'm sure it's something I wouldn't want to listen to. Because I fucking hate politics. I love politics. As long as... No, I just love politics. Or discussing politics, I should say. I hate both of them. Because it's dumb. It's rich people thinking... Oh, god damn it. Tanari? There we go. I'm gonna run! My face is being melted. You know, everything that is between you and that demon it takes fire damage too, so please don't run behind me. <laughs> You're screwing me over. Come on, get him! Thank you, Eriki. I will do just that, probably. Kill him! Yeah! Got him. Well, time stop is super good. This was the right decision to get this sword. Man, it's... Yes, yeah, it's, it's awesome. The best. And you know, the, the best thing is, it's not even like a super ability. Like the one you get when you get high level, you know? So it's this just, just a, a spell. regular old level 9 spell. Oh, yeah. So what we, we got what we came for. We can kill most of it if you want, but this is uh, what we came for. Maybe he's got fancy stuff. He doesn't. All there's right. no loot to be had, but there's stuff to kill. Alright, got the demon heart. Nice. Squelching, squishy, steamy demon heart. You got it. Also, do you hear screaming in the background? Yes, I do. Makes sense, considering <clears throat> the dimension we are in. It's kind of like Tower of uh, Latria. I second, wish I could play Demon Souls. second only to the atmosphere in Subnautica, because I. F <sighs> hate that game. Whoops. Nap time? Alright. <clears throat> Lovely Rex. Mm hmm. Good company, as always. You know, rats are not so bad as long as you keep them as house pets. And are alive. Nice. Uh, yeah. As long as you're alive, rats are not bad. If you die, they immediately go for your face. Chew off your lips first. And then your nose. Then your eyelids. I know. And all that Plenty of scavenger animals do that. Eagles and... Squirrels? I don't think squirrels does it. Yes, I don't... They're not... Omnivorous, are they? They just eat plants, I think. They do eat bird eggs. Okay. They, at least they ruin them. I don't know if they eat them, but they do ruin them because they compete with birds for the same uh, type of living space. I see. They probably. Yeah. I mean, over the years, they've probably started eating the eggs. Because why not? Um, okay. Is, tasty, tasty, nutritious eggs. Yeah, eggs are great. Mm hmm. Even if you don't make eggs correctly by Gordon Ramsay's ridiculous fucking standards for scrambled eggs. What's his standards? I, I it it to needs to be it. like a custard, like kind of French scrambled eggs, which is like soupy and shit, which I fucking hate. Mm -hmm. I hate that shit. I want eggs that have texture. I want to I want to take a fried egg off the griddle and put it on a sandwich yeah, and you, I want it to run off. You want the... You want the eggs the way that Sunny makes them, right? Sunny? Sunny From, side uh, up? Middle Gear 5? Oh, yeah. Well... Not the burned ones. <laughs> yeah. Not even that. I mean, I'd like to, the, the yolk to be a little bit cooked, but people, like, live off of runny yolks from eggs. And it's... It's, uh, it's bird embryo. It's so delicious if you cook an egg and I mean, you don't cook it too much so that the, the the yellow stuff in it is still fluidly. Then you open the egg up and put some salt in and mix it a bit around and it mmm so good. It tastes so good. Yeah. Uncooked bird fetus. It is it is more risky when it comes to salmonella because you're not cooking it fully. Yeah. 
which is why I was oh, so dear. scared. But it's very good. Especially uh, Eggs Benedict. Which is extremely good, but very hard to do. Um, so we got the... Is this... You said this was the furnace. Do I just open the door? No, no, okay. So they had like a cold and warm room, and both of them lead to the uh, engine room. And we should, we should explore both of these rooms. Did we kill anything? Everything inside the, the hot room? Pretty sure. Certain? Oh, the door's closed. Oh, watch out for traps. Oh. Well, I guess not. Kill him. Get him, boy. Oh. Uh oh. There we go. <laughs> I'm pretty sure all of these uh, small in the middle have like traps on them. Yeah, thank God for that stuff. I think your katana will be uh, very nice though, once you get something more beefy. Mm -hmm. I discovered a trap somewhere, but I don't see where it is. It's, it's right here. It's right here. Oh. I think most of these have traps on them, so you just you should do like a yeah, like a circle. Check the switch. This is really only the one. All right then. I thought there was more than that. There's another one. Oh, I see. Sometimes you just gotta have patience, I guess. <clears throat> hmm. All right. Remember to uh, press tap. Ooh. Anything good? Quarter staff and some scrolls. You probably want to look at. I'll take some fire arrows. That's probably what these are. Spirit shield, nice. Struck fire elementals must save versus spell or be destroyed. That's a pretty good staff. I mean, not, not as good as mine, but... Hmm. Armor class I think when we, uh... I think previously we got like an air elemental version of that staff. So you can get like a fire and air version. It's a decent cloak. <clears throat> Albeit basic. I think the one you have is Link's better. It is. What do I have? Well, I got the Zero Cloak Armor Class plus one, but that's just give me. It is technically better, but I still have, yeah, I have the Guardian Ring. So these two do, do not mix. Alright, to the Code Room, I guess. Want me to uh, do my thing? Do my thing? E? Sure. Good. I just need you to open the door. I think it's like a secret door over here. Oh, okay. it's, it's already. There you go. Oh. Don't go in yet. Get in there. Get him. Man, I wish you could do wield this this sword. <laughs> that would have been disgusting with your power. Mm -hmm. ah, it wasn't as good as I had hoped for. Oh, just active with the trap. There are traps in this room too. Uh, get some of this. Sweet. I think uh, this is a special type of troll. Snow troll? I think they have to use fire on that kill. Strictly fire. Why do I have to use my fucking bow? There we go. Fire is the fist 
Oh, yeah. oh you got him. Oh, I guess, uh, I guess Lil Drain also. Hey, like this. This pin is so good. But it does make me wish I made a dual tap class of character. <clears throat> so, multi class is the one where you have to level a certain class up to a certain amount and then you can use the class that you had before in no, dual, that's dual that's dual class so multi-class is where both of them level together yes sir okay it's the most uh, broken Dutch. one at high levels but it also takes the longest to level up because you split your xp gain between the two classes yeah uh, dual class you can once you decide to do class something, you can no longer gain XP level, uh, XP gain in your original class. Mm. You only level up in the thing you you choose to switch over to. But like I say, you stop at you stop at being a fighter at level twelve or something, and then you go like mage or whatever you want, and you retain your level twelve fighter, but you also get to level up in something completely new. See, uh, Dungeons and Dragons, why? Why does there have to be multi and dual class? Just pick one, for fuck's sake. No, it's. I think it's part of the law because uh, it multi is, but it's is very only dumb. for races that live a long time, and dual is for humans who. I mean, it, to be honest, it doesn't make sense. Why wouldn't? Why would only humans be able to dual class? Yeah, I don't know. It's it's, it's weird. It's one of those weird uh, rules from. Back in the days, I don't think do uh, the new editions of uh, Dungeons and Dragons have multi and dual. I would guess they would still have multi, all right? Multi classes. Yeah. Or maybe they scrapped the whole dual class thing and just made all all of it multi. I think it's all multi now. I shall strike from the shadows. But really, there's no reason to play human other than to class it because why would you not play as another race and get racial bonuses? There are goners are plenty in this room, by the way, and they don't necessarily spawn in immediately. They might come in piecemeal. Mm -hmm. Piecemeal, nice. Also, this Eldric uh, abomination thing you see in the middle—that's where you put the heart. Pulsing mass of flesh, power core of the sphere, sure. Oh. Lightning laser. Eldritch shit in the middle. Power of the sphere gun. a few minutes sphere. Lurches and the. And the whatever. Sphere is taking his last planar jaunt. That's back to where we started. Sushi for the ladies on Monday. California roll. Make a vegetable roll in, in case she is. Skeptical about raw fish, but uh, other than that, California roll is very good. It has like cream cheese, tuna, something. It's very good. Uh, God, there's so much. If she really likes raw fish, then give her like a tuna, whatever they call it. It's like the long, flat. It has a long flat piece of rice and then it has seaweed on top and then it has like a big slab of tuna. Take a look at that stash. Mmm. Mmm. Gotta get all these gems though. Ring of Danger Sense. Detect traps! Well, I have. S that's set traps. And that's armor class. Law's Axe, Wizard Slayer. Miscast magic affects the victim for the next turn upon each successful hit. 80% chance of victim spell casting failure. It's actually very good. <clears throat> spell failure is always nice to have if you can get it off successfully. I think okay. the problem is that a lot of mages cast like a protection against magical weapons, so you can't even get a hit on them. You have to get a successful hit in order to get the miscast chance to activate. I see. Yeah. Well, I gotta pee again. And good luck, Anarchy, with sushi, because I don't, I don't really trust raw fish, but I'll be right back. <laughs>
So. You got, oh shit. Okay, tell me when you're back. All right, what's popping? Their uh, golem wandered into our zone, but you got disconnected. Did I get What? I'm still here. Are you? Yeah. Okay. No, no, I'm probably not here. Nope. Oh, god damn it. There's a lot of golems here. I told you they come in piecemeal. <laughs> piecemeal. I, I don't know how to call it. They don't have, like... I guess they have, like, spawn rate that only active... Uh, they only spawn in when you don't have sight on them. Oh. That's weird. <clears throat> I think they call it all a cart. When you're, well, at least in America. Like, by the... As you want it, I think is how it translates to. So, a lot of cable companies have, you know, HBO a la carte. They have stars a la carte, you know. I think that's what? how you say it. So when you're when you're talking with your cable company and you're looking for extra channels, they give you packages of channels. Yeah. As you want the channels, so they give you like you know your basic plan that you pay for, and then if you want more. You purchase things a la carte, aka as you want it. So if oh, you want I HBO, you... you spend another five dollars a month on HBO. You know? Yeah. So we're getting some a la carte golems. I like piecemeal better. Yeah, me too. <laughs> so why don't we just keep on saying that? I didn't tell you, you didn't have to say it that way, I just was telling you how we say it, which is incorrect. Ah, sorry. I, I, did, I didn't mean to sound like a dick. Yeah, you big fucking dickhead. Are you... I'm in the game, Toby. Sir? I don't know what to do. <laughs> Can you not enter the game lobby from there? Or did you save before all of this? Oh. God. Can you not go into the game lobby? Right now? Oh, there we go. Cannot monitor. I, I, uh, is that's being combat or something? That's Jesus. Well. Okay, so you have to. Uh, What's your invisibility okay. spell? Big am out. No. Yes. What's your invisibility spell called, and what does it look like? It, it, it's, it has like a blue icon, and it's called invisibility, or improved invisibility. Yeah, it's to the right. Oh, did you... Oh, look to your left. I know, I know, it's bad. Oh, you... Fuck this game. Just fucking came out of nowhere. Yeah. Piece by piece. Piecemeal. <laughs> piece. Piecemeal. Piecemeal. Kobe. Oh, so you don't have the word piecemeal in USA? We do, but I think we call it. Uh... Alocat. It's either that or like. Shoot, like some kind of pence from like medieval times, like half pence or something. Half a pence? Something like that. Yes. Okay, so we gotta do all this shit over again. Let me go ahead and uh, do this. Also, switch to your Warhammer. Yeah, I had it out. But then everything. And uh, as soon as we see those big boys, pause the game and I'll. That's probably the worst part of these kind of, you know, CRPG Dungeons and Dragons games. Is you have so many spells. So many I spells. It. I hate it. Oh shit. I love it. It's only a problem if you have a lot of pointless spells. And then, then it's, it's no good. Nice. 
That's a trap Which... in that stash, by the way. Okay. Which was my problem. It, at least in Pillars of Eternity, I just had so many fucking spells, and they all did the same goddamn thing. More or less. A lot of the spells in Pillars of Eternity seem weak, but that's only if you compare it to a game like this. Yeah, where they're super broken. I mean... Super broken. What are you talking about, Mark? I almost one-shot a dragon with my trap. Broken, okay? It's broken. It is not supposed to... It's a dragon, goddammit. It's not supposed to... Oh, goddammit. Ah, but we also way over level for that fight. Just so oh, you know. Oh, you... Can he freeze time? Well, he's stuck. Oh, yeah. He's stuck. Never mind. Let me go ahead and... Uh, don't do it. Don't do that. Alright. What? Were you going to make like a time trap or something? No, I was gonna like shoot him from a distance so he didn't have to waste your spell. And you could actually use it when we were in trouble. I mean, it's gonna take forever, you deal one damage to him, so... Well, you deal two damage to him. At least I have a chance for instant death. I'm just gonna proc at some point, hopefully. Lightning ball. Lightning ball. Come on! Die, die for me already. There it is. There we oh. go. Excuse me, but as I take my second level up, while you still don't have one. Are you kidding me? Some of the best. I mean, I shouldn't complain, but... Kind of want another spike trap. Did I... Did I get booted from the game again? No, I did not. Good. Any more gear golems that want to Epic rogue come achievement. in and rule nowadays? Huh? I got an achievement for Epic Rogue. Nice. Did you hit the highest level then? 30? That might be the highest level. I don't know. Well, it still I says it. I have like 200,000 experience till next level, but I can just say that, but not actually, you know, do anything, so we'll see. <laughs> A hidden feature of the enhanced edition, I take it. Enhanced. Enhanced. I mean, level 30. Are you ready to leave this place? Yeah. Level 30 in D&D &D terms is like god tier. Fucking yeah. maximum ridiculousness. That's why we can uh, one shot, almost one shot dragons. Yeah, okay. I guess that makes sense. The funny thing is, that was one trap. How many spike traps do you have on you? Two, right? I got three now. I got three? Mm-hmm. Well, 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 I'll tell you what, the next dragon we're gonna fight, he, he, he did. He did immediately. Mm -hmm. Oh, we're done now. Alright. Oh, it's not so bad. I guess when you are level 30, this place becomes more or less a cakewalk. <sighs> I guess so. Still get my ass kicked a lot. I guess that's because of the world. I think we just need to find some kind of, uh, I don't know. I was trying to think of, of some kind of defenses measures, but you know, this this level two spell, mirror image, like this one right here, this one here, is so good defensively because I have to waste time hitting my dude before they can even touch me. And I also got stone skin, which is like an extra layer of defense before I begin to take any damage at all. So, it would have been so nice if... What I'm getting is, you should always play as a fighter mage, sort of, kind of sword, yeah. Yeah. But I, at least uh, Phoebus do get the ability to use all the items in the game, without restrictions. Should we talk to these people? I'll do it. I guess not. Okay. I cannot talk to anyone. What does that mean? Great. You're free. I think you have to talk to the lady. We've returned to my world. And we are trapped here as Knights of Solomnia. Should bear this with good grace. Travel to your world and lend our swords. Oh, good. Is this like a group you can recruit? No, sadly not. I think they're like from an entire. Doesn't make any dimension. fucking sense. You meet 
one random group of people on the road and like, yeah, we'll be part of you. And then you save these people from planar interdimensional hell. And they're like, yeah, we'll see you later, friend. Get the fuck out of here, Baldur's Gate piece you of have shit, a point. motherfucking goddamn. This is making it. You actually sense. have a valid point. I agree with you. All right, so we have to talk to Lasok, Lavok. What was oh, that's again? right. That's right. I think it's he Lavok. Has to die beneath the his own sun, not the star he was born under. Hmm. I mean, not star. Where do I go? Good. I know. And this door was nothing, right? This is the one place, damn it. Yeah, that's the storage area. Yep. This is, no, this is the one place. We have to go to the control room, which is like the other door. The one was where the beholder was. Hmm. Elder Eye. Elder? Oh yeah. Fuck those guys. I hate them. Do you remember the beholder case? Hmm? Do you remember? I do. That was cancer. <clears throat> just went in there and I, I just got shit on. I'm still very surprised because in my D&D campaign, the holders were nothing. Yeah, that's because... But then the dragon have, fucked me up. They have different up. eye power. I have, each eye stock has like a unique eye oh, power. Oh, right. And then I think they only have one of them per day or something? Yeah, they have to like roll. But in this game, they can just rapid fire away all the death beams. That's true. All right, I found your thing. Please don't betray me. Sure. Just put them in your pocket. That wasn't too bad. <laughs> That's right. You can put people into a pocket. I forgot. Timeout server something. Oh. And huh? he died. Heart of the abyss. What? Uh, Try and walk forward. Try and walk forward. Oh, you can't? That's because it's enhanced. God damn it. It's enhanced. Okay? Uh, that's a lot of XP. I still didn't level up? Come on! You're not in the game. Nope. I guess not. It's not kicking me out yet, so I'm not sure what to do. Was this the number that you were looking at before? 23,000 XP? Do you remember what this number was when you looked at it? Yes, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm certain I'm not losing level. I was just being paranoid at the first. All right, okay. And if not, I mean, who cares? I guess. I, mean, I care, but can I lose sleep level or something like that? Probably not. I think we've. Uh, my last episode was episode 45, so that means 45 hours of this game so far. For real? Yeah. A one hour episodes every time just to save because I don't I don't want to make another fucking Skyrim let's play where it's 375 episodes I don't want to do that <laughs> I remember that <laughs> uh, pretty sure I did every fucking thing in that game sure feels like it because damn <clears throat> I think the only thing that comes close in feeling that long was your GTA San Andreas. San Andreas, yeah. <sighs> and that, was, that one also felt really long. I enjoy San Andreas a lot. But the mission where you have to get your fucking breath up to do, what a, about? do a mission for that guy was AIDS. <laughs> what about the one where you have to follow the train? And <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> Man, all we had to do was follow the Big smoke. All we had to do is follow the damn train, CJ. Mm -hmm. Fuck you, 
big smoke. Piece I, of I love the, I love the bit where he, uh, doing the McDonald's order. What was he saying again? Uh, two number nine, number seven, extra soda, extra cheese. <laughs> yeah. I think they made like a pretty two, big ass song about it too. Two number nines, a number four large. I don't remember, but it was a lot of food. Yeah. Fat boy. Mm -hmm. I need to betray you too. I think that's like a big, big shove mm. moment. No, it's a uh, rider betrays you. Ah, that's not a big smoke betrays you. No, the guy who smokes a joint every time you see him. He's like, uh, oh. you have to kill him outside of. I mean, watch my fucking videos. <clears throat> you have to kill him outside of a thing. If you All I can think about that game is there's a cheat code where you get fat, get maximum fat. <laughs> yeah. And I was playing with a couple of friends, and I was with Chico's, and I didn't tell them what they did, so it was like, oh, try this one out. And then I just, <laughs> I told them the code, and what the next thing that happened was I just heard un un the uninterrupted laughter coming from the lady next, next room. <laughs> Sweet. <laughs> yeah. Alright, so let me play this game, for real. Do I have to leave the game, for real? Oh yeah, I'm gonna leave. I'm gonna go to the menu. It's enhanced. And rejoin. I did get a fancy ring. Ring of vacuity. The wearer can memorize <laughs> two extra second level spells, one extra third level, and one extra fourth level. Oh shit, did we not loot the stash in the engine room? Uh, no, we, Dude. we did. Did you, you have the... Trap detection ring, right? Mm, yeah, but it's not. I don't want. I don't want to replace my other rings with that. No, no, no. Just keep. Just keep it in your bag of holding, and we'll come in clutch later. You'll see. Well, I mean, let me I see. I think at some point, at some point in this game, or maybe the expansion, traps are gonna be. Big time. So bad news. Yeah, they're gonna be really hard to find. Really hard to do the disarm. And then I would, they're gonna kick in your teeth. Teeth? Teeth. Teeth. So what was this ring you found for me? Like a spell ring? Or <clears throat> no, I don't have the ring of trap detection, actually. Oh, oh. what? Spell turn? So we did not loot the stash turn. Correct? I thought we did. Yeah. So what's the ring? Maybe you took the gold and I thought you had the ring. Oh I'm no, I have the ring. God damn it! Yeah, it's fucking in the moron. All right, well you should probably get this ring, where you can learn more shit. Oh wait, is this a good ring? Oh yeah, ah, slow level spells. I'll take it, I guess. I mean, that's like more fireballs and stuff, right? Yeah, but I do have to give up my fifty percent fire resist ring. Mm. Oh well. It's for a good cause. Wow. Alright. Oh, so we have everything for this mace. So mace? it's the... Excuse me? The hammer. Oh shit, where is... Okay, so here's the name. And then the grips of... Balderon. That's not correct. Hands of Tacock. And I have the hammer. What else did he want? Oh, the, the belt. Oh, I don't want to give up the belt, man. It's fine. Trust me, it's fine. Alright. You'll see why. So let's He's... get that done immediately. Because Is he you, here? You end for, for a surprise. Is he in the slums? No, he's in the ducks. Oh, that's right. And if you want to go fast, I can, I can give you us a little bit of juice. That's fine. <coughs> you want to talk to any of these naked men? Nope. These beggars? No. Sure. Yeah. So have you seen? Right. Remember last time I talked about Wolfenstein Youngblood? Yeah, I heard it was a crap game. It's a crap game. It's Borderlands in Wolfenstein. 
with an always online mentality, even if you're playing single player and the characters are really like BJ Blazkowicz. It's like a, he's the American man. He, his entire like pseudo family got killed in front of him. And then he fucking stabs a Nazi in the neck and it feels so good. But this shit is like his kids and they're both like fret sister, like super like, yeah, bro, fucking it's dumb. It's really fucking stupid. And it feels very un uninspired, right? And they, uh, Bethesda made a point to fix. I mean, if it was made by Bethesda, we shouldn't really expect anything good. I guess. Well, wow, that's a. Never Wasn't heard... it made like? I know that sounded cruel, but yeah, I mean, I never thought. Like that? I never thought I would hear that sentence in my life, but I guess it's it's the time. It's Bethesda made, just like EA, so it's obviously garbage. Yeah. But so. Awful, and they spent a lot of time fixing a microtransaction exploit besides fixing the goddamn bugs in the game, which is where you really know where they're going, where they're trying to get this shit going for. Wasn't the first Wolfenstein made by uh, it one? Not the very first one, just the one. Yeah. With, uh... you no, know, yeah, and the very first one. Id Software does great shit. Yeah. For now, at least. Oh, I... <laughs> At some point, day two of them. So I guess so. It's really sad. Love button. I love, right, so I love Doom. Let's clear our thoughts. Take a look at this stuff right here. You see it? Shadow Dragon. You what? See that thing? Oh, you made the dragon scale armor. Oh, that's oh I didn't. I didn't make the. Okay. Your My bad. To wear on me no, no, we wanted to get it all done just for just to see how. What turns out? Ten grand. There we go. I gotta pee again. For real? I need a droid or some strong dwarven ale. Alright. <clears throat> so, there you go, my mm -hmm. friend. Use it well. So, let's see what we got here. Legendary Ryan for a surprise. What? What are you talking about? What are you talking about? I'm putting this on right now. And you see that slays golems? Instantly. Golems, it's instant trolls. And when it says slays, it's instant death. And there's not even a save in wall. Is this gonna cut off my, uh... Nope, it's lead armor. Wow. It's even better than what we got? What? Wow, we got a jackpot. Also, notice that it gave you 25 strength, and the build was like 21, right? Yeah, 25 is like you can... You can put your... Your, your bare palm to the Earth's surface and shatter the entire planet. That's what I'm fucking talking about. Finally. I, I, I think it's like Titan level of strength. 25? Yeah, I mean, that would make sense. The highest you can ever get without shit like this in regular D&D is 18. At max. Yeah, no, no, no. That's 18 with a number behind it. 18 is like ogre, ogre strength. Pure 18, that is. So, like, for example, I think Minsk in this game is like one of the most beefiest characters you can get, and he's like 
18, 18 slash 19, something like that. I think that. it's like, it's supposed to be like a point, like 18 point something, you know? Yeah, in this game it's just like a, like a, a slash, line. yeah. Yeah, slash. <clears throat> All right, great. So you got a sick, nasty little armor that makes you all black, and uh, I mean, maybe maybe I should rephrase that. It's like all black leather, and uh, sick, nasty armor class, and you got like a sick, nasty warhammer. And also, you remember how I keep talking about this offhand weapons? This warhammer should be your offhand weapon. I know it does sick, nasty damage, but what you use it for is the strength boost and. Uh, me just a strength boost. But so it's turn on one hand and Ooh. then the hammer on the other. I know you don't have to do it right now, but when you get like a sick nasty right hand weapon, you should uh, do oh, it. No, that's not bad. The last time I played, I had a I had a five and a ten, but now I have a one and a six. Yeah. I'll take it. You're gonna do so much damage for that. And I'm gonna give you speed buffs. It's gonna be great, trust me. Mm -hmm. Also, we we should stack up in potions. Yes, please. Yeah. So we need to talk to the fence in the the sewers temple district. I picked the wrong place. <clears throat> Is there no merchant in Walking's promenade to buy potions from? What about this guy over in the corner? Uh I mean Maybe, right. but okay. they have like low stock of potions. All right. Roger and the fence. Uh, Roger the fence have like, all the good stuff. And I guess that's what we're doing next. Is. Hold up! I think there's like a witch that sells potions in the bridge district. Oh, too late. Because we might want to buy all of their stocks, if you know what I mean. All right. Just get it all because we have so much gold, so we might as well. It is Stop up. It is night time. Does that matter? It might matter. It might matter for the witch, but I don't think it matters for the. He lives in the sewers anyway, so what does he care if it's night or day? Yeah, that's true. Holy hell! Seriously? Oh, welcome, friends. <laughs> Such. I would say 90% of the time, this buff, this buff right here annoys me, but, you know, sometimes it can be a nice surprise, I guess. Do you want to kill him? In the town? Seems a bit risky. Will that piss people off? If I, if I do cholesterol, then host of cow wizards. Ugh. Yeah. And they come in in full... They come in as a legion, you know? No pussyfooting around. Oh, did this again? Mm. Sorry, I had no patience for that. They're gonna fight, one of them is gonna die, and the girl's gonna be on a quest. I think they're supposed to fight. It's high octane combat. I mean, they're fighting. There we go. There we go. Death. Whatever, I'm out of here. Bubbles! Honey melon! Bubbles! Bubbles! It's kind of gross. Huh? It's kind of gross, because Bubbles is the name of a Powerpuff girl. Oh. Like an underaged. I, uh, that was, you know what? I'm just gonna say it as it is. That was a good show. It was this a good show. Witch, it was an this excellent show. Okay. This is the witch. All right. <clears throat> yeah. It's a very yeah, good, it show. A good show. Hello there. Who was your favorite villain again? Favorite what? Favorite villain. Favorite baddie. Probably. Most memorable baddie. Probably him. Ah. It's like the over feminine devil who got really. <laughs> It was like the best portrayal of the devil you could probably do. Like really effeminate and like sweet. Then he gets pissed off and everything goes on fire and shit. It was awesome. And he has like crab claws for hands. How can you go wrong with that? Yeah, exactly. Oh, these are the baby potions. Don't need it. Yeah. No, no, no. Don't buy these. Don't buy these shit ones. They Does don't have, have the good ones. ones. Oh, stealth. Have... No stealth? Invisibility? Just I right got here. that covered. Oh, that, there we go. Buy, buy all of these. 
10. Get him. Get him, boy. Anything? Uh, this is the problem with potions in CRPGs. Unless it's really going to make a difference, no one's going to buy any of this shit. Yeah. It's the same thing in Skyrim and Oblivion. You don't use oh, the potions. It's garbage in, in Skyrim because they do they do nothing. Well, if you break the game, they do everything. But that's yeah. Breaking Unless the you game. break the game, they do nothing. Yeah. All right, Roger defense it is. But at least we got your covers, the stealth potion. I think that you can have like a stack of twenty, maybe thirty. So might as well buy all of them. Yeah. But you know, back to him, her. Uh, that was a good answer, especially because he's the one who brings my favorite uh, best temple district. Okay. Temple district. There you go. He's the one that he's, the, he's in this episode where he brings back the rowdy boys. Is that their name? The boy oh. version of the top of them. I mean, they the hardy they're boys. Kind of like, yeah, they're, they're they're not as interesting, but I I like them as a kid, as a kid. And in this episode, he gives them like a counter, like a deep. First episode, they they hated everything cute and cuddly, and they had like allergic reaction to getting kisses from girls. Intention. <laughs> uh, what the Powerpuff Girls did to defeat him was just to be nice to them and compliment them and uh, give them a, a wet kiss on the cheek. You know, the kind of thing kids do. And yeah. they will explode upon getting a kiss like that. But in the episode where him resurrected, it gives them like a counter where when they get kisses, they get bigger. Now, how you interpret that is all up to you. <laughs> yeah, fair enough. But if I had to pick one, I will definitely say that Mojo, is that his name? The Mojo Jojo. Mojo Jojo, yeah. How, how, could, how could you go wrong with Mojo Jojo? God, I had a really good thought, but I lost it. Something about villains in cartoon shows. I guess you could say most cartoon shows have really memorable villains, right? That's that's kind of where I was going for. But now that I just said that, I can't really think of any. Maybe that's just my mind being lazy. So you got failing. Plankton, you got Mojo Jojo, you got him, you have... Oh, that's right! The scariest, it's not even a real enemy, but the shit that gave me the most nightmares as a kid was... Courage the Cowardly Dog, the Return the Slab guy, that fucking guy, King Ramsey, King Ramsey, Return the Slab, Return the Slab, that thing, I don't fucking, remember that one. oh man, could not sleep for a long time after watching that, longer, <laughs> longer than watching like Berserk's anime shit where Griffin You know what, that was a lot of people. spooby shit and... The Cavalry Dog, the Cavalry Dog. God, it was so good though. It was such a good fucking I, show. Yeah, it was. It definitely was. I don't remember so many uh, woodlands. I'm gonna say the one that stuck with me the most, and the one I would normally choose. And the one I would normally choose is the cat. You remember the cat? Mm, I think I do. Where he had like really big eyes, and he was. He, he was you, like you sneaky, and for, Muriel, for, yeah. Muriel like petted like him and red. shit. And then he... Lang, lang, donkily, donkily legs and arms. Yeah. And then Muriel, like, Oh, good cat, good cat. But every every time she wasn't looking, he did some atrocious shit. I think, right? Where he did some, like, very negative stuff. No, and no, he's, he's, he's not a pet. He's not a pet. He's, like, a walking person. But just a cat. Something about that is just creeping me out. Okay, I don't know what like I... you're talking about. Not... <clears throat> But I will say the one that most stuck with me was the the old teacher lady who's like giving Kurt a really hard time because he's being good at her classes. Oh, yes. And then he there's this um, Kurt makes like this one fish out of paper mache or he, he does something and he makes like a fish 
And later in that episode, the fish talks to him and the fish is like, oh, everyone, everyone has something they are good at, you know? You just, you just have to figure it out for yourself or something like that. It's, it's a very good lecture that really helps him out because this teacher was being really nasty to him, you know, giving a hard time because he made, he made something really good or interesting during her classes, but I guess she didn't live up to his, her expectations, so she constantly put him down. And uh, I don't know, that episode stuck with me. I can't remember so much of it, but I just remember how that speech at the end really didn't bring tears to my eyes or anything. But I felt, I felt that everybody had something they're good at and you just need to explore that piece of themselves, you know? Well, you're wrong. Don't let other people put well, them you're down for wrong. It. You're wrong. The scariest, okay. scariest no, I'm not character. talking about scariest. I'm just, just talking about the one that resonated with you or you remember, you know? Remember well, the me? one I remember is fucking King Ramsey. Because I, I never, never saw that episode. God. Good. Good. Because if you saw that yeah. shit as a kid, you would be disgusted. You know, one episode I wish I could forget was the whole wood fungus thing. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's right. So uh, hell of that episode. Especially the, the end where he has to lick it. I just bought ten... What happened? I just bought ten potions. I can't find them. They're not my bag. Did you? Maybe you didn't buy them. I had eight to start with. Oh, I didn't buy them. Fucking wonders I have seen. As long as you didn't list go, let's try. Oh, I think I just hit done and not buy. There we go. So is healing potion the only good thing I has? Doesn't have spell potions or... Oh, I mean, we'll I look. <clears throat> when I see one. Healing... Also, well, in vulnerability. Oh, that just increases your armor class and saving throws. Um, so one hour is not bad, but we we can find we can find potions like this on our journey. Right. So hey Doc, because I see you there and you can't hide from me. <laughs> Calling have him you uh, have you watched Courage the Cowardly Dog? And if so, what uh, what do you remember about it? What I remember from Nickelodeon back in the day was the good shit. Cow and Chicken, Two Angry Beavers, Courage the Cowardly Dog, Cat Dog, Two Stupid Dogs. Not waste time like this. I think I said all real monsters already. Hey Arnold was okay, not very good. That show was so weird. It was, I didn't, or at least the intro was. I didn't like it. Powerpuff Girls, yeah, creepy as hell because of him. Him. Even the name, like him. That guy. I was like, okay. Um, and uh, I watched a lot of... Of course, I watched a lot of Dragon Ball Z, but Sailor Moon was very good. And... I don't want to say Animorphs. Like... Not Animorphs. Z -Z -Z. The show on Toonami, where it was like... It was like Gundam, but uh, the Gundams were like animals. Like wolves and birds and shit. Are you thinking about Beast Wars? <sighs> but that's more, that's Transformers. Where they, instead of changing into cars and tanks, they change into animals. It's weird. I don't know if it was also Beast Wars. Time travel. I don't know. Okay, so where are we going? I think I have the shield on me. We are not going anywhere until I can...